Okay, between you and me, um, I actually have so many recipes ready to go, and I, I think I might even have a recipe that might just be the next Ridiculous Brownies. Like, it's never been put together before. Like, I've never seen those combinations of ingredients even being put together before. But I, ha I just can't release it because I now know that people like him, even if it's not him, like, big creators are willing to literally take your recipe and sell it without asking for consent. And that, I don't know, like that makes me kind of not even want to post recipes anymore, if I'm honest. It's like very sad, Jeremy. What's up guys, Fardin here from wolfphysique.com. Today we're going to talk about a story I just want to share. Because a friend of mine who gave me a great recipe for brownies, which I use a lot during my shred, it's been stolen. The brownies, the recipe, it's crazy. You would never think of a combination to make a brownie that way. Here's a clip of Will Tennyson making it. Decided to take a little bit of a break from work and have a snack. So for a snack today, we're gonna do a little bit of a brownie showdown. So I made two different brownies from two different followers. So the first one here is from Gabby. It's called the Ridiculous Brownie. And guess the calories of the whole entire thing, guys. I'll give you guys a second. Okay, so it's 148 calories for the entire thing. 22 grams of protein, 15 grams of carbs, and zero grams of fat. And the ingredient, the secret ingredient, is Diet Coke, half a cup of Diet Coke. I never thought to put Diet Coke in a brownie before, but it could be amazing. Hopefully, you know, the taste isn't reflective of the calories because that wouldn't really be a good sign. And the second one we- So as you can see, the <laughs> brownie is very low calorie. I will put a picture on the screen right now of me having made the brownies and I can tell you they taste delicious. So if you want, give her a follow on Instagram. I'll put the Instagram over here. But there's something I talked about with her. So we talked about, we gone back and forth together for a long time, sharing recipes. It's like, it's fun, you know, if you're definitely, if you're shredding, you know, these recipes, they would really help you. I mean, like if you're eating such low calories and I mean, like you're not moving a lot, you're not doing a lot of cardio and you just want something sweet, a brownie. A brownie just contains so many calories, a cake, you know, etc. Actually, the brownie recipe blown my mind and she deserves a lot of fucking credit for it, all right? It's just, she's a student who's just, you know, she's doing this for fun, you know? And I mean, like, she has a good following, a loyal following, and it's like, it's good shit. But there's another creator, um, Jeremy Acher, 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 Acher. She sent me some screenshots about it and I just wanted to share it because a lot of people think Jeremy is like uh, very, uh, has a lot of integrity, but I disagree. I disagree. There, there were also times he misrepresented studies about cardio. Fancy grass, the guys are running and they're blue colored men, the dark blue and the light blue, and it's, red, and it's the week one and the week four and the 200 calories and the 160. Yeah, so you're watching and you think, oh, these that study did that. But then I go and look at the actual freaking study. And did it say this? Nope. He made this up. It is made up. You guys think that this guy just presents accurate information in science? No. They take a study and make it sound like what they want. I can still remember that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get into this. So, just wanted to reach out and saw how much I love your brownie recipe. Haha. <laughs> came across your page a couple months ago and I have been testing, tweaking the brownie recipe based on your updates and stories too. We're planning to include it or a close variation on it into our cookbooks for our members. We'll credit you, of course. Would you prefer a link to your Instagram? So basically he's very interested in a collaboration. You would think that a guy like Jeremy who has a lot of money, who <laughs> he could pay her also. But she's very interested in working together, of course. So basically she says yes. And he says, yes, we have a general cookbook we're working on and have the brownies already in there with your credit. So he already put the fucking brownies in the fucking cookbook already. And he's like asking it. No, he's not actually asking it. He's like saying, 
Listen up. You're small, you don't have a lot of money, you haven't trademarked your fucking brownies. I know it's your passion, but I don't really give a fuck. I have the money, I can put it in there. Uh, yeah, only thing you get is some uh, credit and that's it. At least give her a fucking discount code while she can profit of it as well, as well and not only you. Right now she's not posting recipes anymore. Like, what the hell? She doesn't want to. She generally just likes and loves doing this. And I also told her like a month ago or two months ago, you should really watch out. You should trademark this shit on your name because you never know if people get your shit, you know, and sell it without your consent, all right? So yeah, this is like, in this case, it's like, it's very sad, all right? All right, so she basically says, okay, hold up. Is this cookbook that uses my ridiculous brownie recipe or a variant of it going to be sold for profit? Would also like to see that section first, if possible. Please understand that as you have been following for months, haha, and this has been 12 months of my life works and never existed before I created it. So the recipe is like, it's very, you would never think of the ingredients putting together. I mean, like Coke in your, Diet Coke in your fucking brownie mix. I thought it would never work, but I tried and it's sick. It truly works. So please understand and as you have seen from following for two uh, four months, haha, this has been 12 months of my life work and never existed before I created. So this recipe is specifically amongst the hundreds I'm giving for free and it means a lot to me. I'd like us to do this right. I'm sure you understand this too as a fellow con creator. Ridiculous Browns are like my baby. She, the Ridiculous Browns are like her baby, all right? She's very passionate about it and that's also a reason why I make this video. I just wanna help her out. Um, she has a good personality and she's not putting her face on Instagram and that says a lot as well. She just likes posting up recipes, but it's her recipe. Totally get it and I understand. I'll leave part of Kubo. We'll be selling in a couple of months or so. So he's already saying he's gonna sell. So which has a complication of 100 recipes we worked on. The brownies are just one of them and it's where you will be credited. I'm more than happy to send you over the write-up and blah, blah, blah. So she's asking, what's your intention to ask for my consent to use my ridiculous brownies recipe or in your words, a close variation of it in your cookbook for your personal profit? Or was it to tell me that you will be using my work and doing so regardless whether I would like to or not. Perhaps to cover your tracks if anyone ever calls you out. All right, to get called out, for crediting your ID in our book, to be clear, every single recipe out there, there's real general me, all right? <laughs> to be clear, every single recipe out there has come from an origin. Every single idea, for that matter, has. People don't own these, unless patented, trademarked, of course. Yet these are just spread and used by our, all right. So he's basically saying, Screw you, you don't trademark it, uh, you don't have a lot to say, I have all the money, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, I mean like, it's not, it's not cool, all right? So I just wanted to share this message and also want to share a voice record of her and maybe some of her followers are here right now and uh, you could also subscribe, bro. But... Okay, between you and me, um, I actually have so many recipes ready to go and... I I, I think I might even have a recipe that might just be the next Ridiculous Brownies. Like, it's never been put together before. Like, I've never seen those combinations of ingredients even being put together before. But I, ha I just can't release it because I now know that people like him, even if it's not him, like, big creators are willing to literally take your recipe and sell it without asking for consent. And that, I don't know, like, that makes me kind of not even want to post recipes anymore, if I'm honest. It's like very sad, Jeremy. I mean, like, it's very sad. Yeah, I don't really know what to say, all right? At least don't think about your own financial game, all right? I honestly, I'm wondering how, he, how he's grown his business so much. I mean, like, if you are not able to give, you're not getting back. And trust me, if you do shit, bad shit, and you know so, at the end of the day, it will bite you in the ass. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, who knows? But it will, it will come back to you, all right? It will come back to haunt you. So that's always, guys. Have your integrity in check. And uh, yeah, give her a follow, she deserves it. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad, you know? I would like to know the recipe <laughs> she, uh, she wanted to share, but uh, 
But I do this as a friend and yeah, this uh, I all want to say, just a message for now. I hope you're enjoying the daily uploads and uh, like the video if you like it, if you want to help her out and um, comment, give out your thoughts. Someone with money can destroy your life's work if you do not watch out. Let that be a lesson for you. If you ever have an idea or you ever want to do shit, stay quiet. Don't share it too quickly and especially not to people we, we can trust. All right. So watch out and uh, think about yourself. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Love all of you and like the video if you want. Much love.